use go high level? No, I use RE Simply and I love it. In fact, I just recorded a video on RE Simply, um, why I'm using it to be on the YouTube channel. Uh, so stay tuned for that. All right, we are also live on YouTube. If you would like to be able to see my screen, see what's going on, see what it is we're looking at and all things of that nature. All right, let me change which screen we're rocking with here. Let's go to Zillow. All right, screen. Screen one, please. Done. Well, that's not. There we go. All right, what's up, Tyler? Okay, how you doing? I'm doing good. How you doing? Have you made any money today? Actually, today I have not made a single dollar, which is a problem because if I don't make five grand a day, I'm pissed. New office? No, this is just my uh, home office. I am about to remodel it though. I'm pretty stoked for that. All right, what do you think about all the TikTok shop stuff and people making money? Um, I think that there's definitely money to be made on there um, with TikTok shop and all of that, but. I think the amount of money you can make is gonna be pretty capped. I feel like you could probably go make like 10K a month on TikTok shop relatively easily, but I feel like for that same effort, you could easily go make a 20 or $30,000 wholesale deal. So for me, it's like, hey, look, you know, I wanna pick, I wanna, I wanna make sure I'm betting on the right horse, right? In life, there's all kinds of different ways you can make money. You could go do Amazon FBA, you could drop ship, you could go do TikTok shop, you can go do affiliate marketing. There's a million different ways to make money. And the secret is they all work. But my question is, which one is gonna allow me to make the most amount of money with the least amount of effort? Personally, I don't think there's anything out there that even compares to wholesaling. Quick question, do you have to write a cancellation agreement to cancel a purchase and sale agreement? No, not technically. You can technically cancel one with just an email to the title company and the seller letting them know you're canceling. Okay, here we go. We got this, let's get our calculator. Let me get my CRM open. And we can get moving. All right, where do I find the forms? If you guys need the contracts for wholesaling real estate, just DM me the word contract on Instagram. Do I pay for leads? Yes, I pay for leads from a website called Leadzilla. All right, first up, we gotta talk to, this guy's a follow-up. His name's Jason. He's got a property I really want to buy in San Manuel, Arizona. But I need to get pictures of the property first because it's a weird one. Hello. Hello, Jason. Yeah. Hey, Jason, it's Tyson Smith again with We Buy Homes Cash. How you doing today? All right, man, yourself? I'm doing well. Um, hey, I just wanted to say that uh, I wanted to see if you were still thinking about selling that place in San Manuel. I think I got it sold already, but I'm not sure, man. Uh, I mean, they, they, they haven't uh, we're working on that right now, I guess. He's going to put the earnest money, he said, so. Have you already signed a contract with them? Well, uh, uh, I, I, I have not. Well, well, how much are they trying to buy it for? Uh, Seventy. Hmm. Well, I think today might be your lucky day. Oh yeah. Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to be able to offer you more than that. Okay. Um, but in order for me to know, I'm going to need you to text me some pictures of the place real quick. Okay. I can do, let me get back to the house here and I'll do that. Right. I, I think, I think that it... I, I'll definitely be able to get you, you know, several thousand more dollars. Okay, let me let me get some pictures of it and uh, Tyson, I'll I'll, I'll I'll send this number right here, this radar number. No, 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 I'll text you. I'll, I'll, can you send them to my cell phone number? Yeah, yeah, just text me the number if you bet. All right, I'm gonna text you right now. I'm gonna say, hey, this is Tyson. Can you text the photos to this number? Okay, cool, awesome. I'll, I'll do. All right, w when will you be able to send me the pictures? Uh, within an hour. Within the hour? Yep. All right, right on. Okay. Cool. All right, let me send you cool. a text right now, and as soon as I get those pictures, I'll know. But my my primary underwriting came in, and it was it was higher than seventy thousand. So I I should okay, be able cool. To get you more than that. Let's 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 check it out, man. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, sounds good. Let's get this done. 
All right, Jason, thanks. All right, thank you, Jason. Talk to you soon. All right, later. I'm not letting that deal get taken from me. What? 70000 No. No, 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 no. Not today, buddy. Not today. I am going to pay you more. But the last thing I want to do is get into some bidding war with whatever other wholesaler is trying to get this deal from me. I'm texting him right now from my cell phone number because when people send pictures, the attachments and stuff can get all messed up. So I just want him to text. Oh, shit. My iPad died. Stand by. Stand by, everybody. YouTube, stand by. Let me go get my laptop. Okay. Do you have a Discord? No. Um, however, if you guys are wanting to learn how to do this, uh, I'm doing a free class on Thursday. First one down, that's the hardest one. You're about to be moving, dog. How do you convince somebody not to work with a realtor? I don't convince anybody of anything. I make them an offer of what I can do for them, and if they want to do it, perfect. But my job here is not to convince people. It is simply to make them aware of what options I can provide for them, and if they accept it, that is groovy. If not, no harm, no foul. There's a million other people out there. Okay. Is my laptop dead? No. Okay, we got some juice. Perfect. I can send this guy a text. Yo, what's up, Braden? Okay. Your mic sounds like it's in a tunnel. Dude, I've been having some serious issues with my audio that I do not know how to do, deal with. Let's see here. All right, it is picking up from my right mic, this one here. Been loving the live streams, Tyson. Thank you for posting, been subscribed for a couple weeks. Hey, right on, Joe, I appreciate you, man. I'm glad you find them helpful. All right, how can we get your contracts? DM me the word contract on Instagram and I will send them to you for free. Just the word contract. Don't put any other punctuation or anything like that. All right, let's send this guy a text. Hey Jason, it's Tyson with We Buy Homes Cash. Can you text me some photos of the interior of the property to this number? Perfect. All right. Are you in an attorney state? No, but I've done many deals in attorney states. It's pretty much the same. Really not much you have to worry about. Okay. Other. All right, said he has an offer for 70K that he was going to take. I believe we'll be able to offer him more pending photos. Now, is what I'm going to tell you guys is if I for some reason am unable to get photos from him in the next hour, I will just send him a contract at 75. And whatever, if the photos come back and they suck, then I'm gonna have to be like, okay, no, I'm sorry, I didn't expect it to be this bad. But the last thing I want to do is lose this deal because somebody else just you know, sends the contract first. All right, is it hard finding sellers, but even harder to find buyers? Uh, completely disagree with that. Um, finding both are relatively easy if you know where to look, but finding buyers is extremely easy, especially when you have a good real estate deal. Bro, where's the mustache? Dude, we shaved the mustache a while ago. It was getting too annoying, dude. It's kind of a lot of upkeep and it was constantly itching like my nose. Making me, you know, I already have allergies and whatnot. And the, the mustache was just 
and fuel the fire over there for real okay what is an attorney state so gavin um there's two different kinds of states there are uh what is it called like deed states contract for deed states and attorney states it just is about um or i'm sorry title states and attorney states in attorney states you need a real estate attorney to close the transaction in title states you just need a title agent different classification it's not a big deal it's not something you need to worry about are you on trt still i'll be on trt for the rest of my life Um, we did just add back in um, Ipa Morellin and CJC 1295. Um, if you guys would be interested in me making a video on like my TRT regimen and my peptide stack, go ahead and put a one in the chat. Let me see, because I don't know how interested people are in this. Um, like, I don't know if you guys actually want me to talk about the gym or if you guys just like me talking about real estate or like what kind of content you guys want to see. Why won't you wholesale in Oklahoma? They have weird wholesaling laws there. I've done plenty of deals there, but they, they just came out with some new stuff. Okay, you guys are cool with both? You like the real estate? Message send failure? None of these messages came through. That's not good. All right. Yes, you can always DM me on the side, but don't send me DMs on TikTok. My TikTok DMs are a cesspool. Um, send me DMs on Instagram if you'd like to ask me questions or talk or anything like that. Currently setting my Minute Pages website, which the name be, whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, to be honest with you. How do you set up an LLC to wholesale? You don't need to set up an LLC to wholesale. Uh, why is Connecticut 203? Got it absolutely right there. All right. Um, hold up. This is problematic. What's going on here? Why is my messages not get delivered? Please stop trying to join my live. I don't know you people. All right, why do you say Lead Zolo is the best? Because I've had the best results with them. Um, they're running on YouTube. YouTube gives you a very high concentration of motivated people. Very easy to segment there. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It really just comes down to the results. Okay. I can't find properties to wholesale. Well, then it sounds like you need to hit the link in my bio and sign up for the free training I'm doing on Thursday. And I'll show you exactly how I find properties to wholesale. Uh, yes, I have tried iSpeed to lead. Um, I believe there are other better PPL websites. On average, how long do cold calls last? Um, a good process call where you're actually talking to somebody who wants to sell will typically be between 15 and 30 minutes. Where is this lead from? This lead is from Lead Zolo. Um, however... My text to him isn't sending, so that's annoying. That's, that, is, that is annoying, for sure. All right, let me just send him a message on here. And I'm just gonna say, hey Jason, can you please text the photos of the property to all right i'm gonna have to make sure that that text got delivered oh uh, by the way this is the house for everybody on youtube i just realized that i haven't even showed you guys this house So here is the property. Um, as you can see, not the prettiest thing. Um, that's why I want to see the inside because I need to know how screwed up it is in there. But it's a two bedroom, one bath, 900 square feet. And there's like, you know, 
three one selling for two twenty. A three one thousand square feet sold for one eighty five. Or I'm sorry, this, this where is it? Let me go to sold. Yeah. So we have this three one that sold for two oh five, as you can see, updated. And we have this one at one ninety, also updated. So if we just run ours at one ninety. 1,000 square feet, we'll do 45 grand for the remodel. This is where things get shaky because I don't actually know how much the remodel is gonna be. Um, and then we're gonna bump this to 30K. We can see that my MAO is 78, my dispo price is 98. Um, now, I do wanna make sure and get the pictures just because I don't wanna underestimate my rehab and then have to retrade them later. And if I get pictures, it'll prevent me from having to do that. But if he doesn't send me pictures, then I'm just gonna lock it up and I'll just pay him 75. Or I'll try and get it for like 74 or something. But I'll, I'll go all the way up to 80. All right. Anyway, yeah, but here's my numbers. If you guys can see, let me zoom this in so it's easier for you guys to see. Yeah, here's kind of what the numbers of this deal looks like. Should be able to sell for 98, assuming it can sell for 190. Realistically, somebody's gonna go try and push 200 on this too. Um, either way, should be able to sell it for like 98, 99. Okay, what's harder, finding somebody to sell their house or finding a buyer? Finding somebody who's willing to sell their house at the price that we can pay for it, right? Um, once you get a good real estate deal, finding a buyer for it is so easy. Um, guys, there are no shortage of people who are looking to buy discounted real estate. For real, it is like the best asset ever. People love it, there's amazing tax benefits, cash flow, and money to be made. So, not hard to, not hard to sell people on an easy way to make money. All right. Random question, when did you have to start taking TRT? Um, I started taking TRT in 2021. Um, went and got my blood work done, saw my natural test levels were like oven temperature. They were in the 300s. No bueno. All right, Novation signed up 150K this week, just had the open house, got an offer at 240K cash, three weeks. Dude, Jared, let's go, dude. I love to hear that, bro. What does TRT do? Um, it it ups your 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 testosterone levels, right? It gets them to a optimal level. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna set a reminder. Does Windows have like a good reminder system? Okay, let's just, uh, we'll just set a uh, task is in my CRM. All right, add task, task name, send contract. If I haven't gotten a text from it in an hour, um, sign to me. Task due is going to be at two o'clock, so we'll do one hour. Yes, please notify me by SMS one minute before. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now we know. All right. My message to him was flagged again. I don't know if I can text his number. I got to call him again. I just gotta call him and I just gotta tell him, uh, I just gotta tell him my phone number. So we are gonna be muting here in a second. Please leave your message for five two zero eight. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm 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 -mm. 
We redial. Abby. Hey, Tyson. Hey, Jason. Um, I just tried to send you a text from my cell phone to this number, and it's not going through. Um, so I was wondering if Let I could just go on. What's that? Okay. Well, uh, all right. All right. Want me to email it to you or? Yeah. Could you go ahead and email me the photos? Yeah. Yeah. What, what email do I use there? It's going to be Tyson, T-Y-S-O-N. Okay. At we buy homes cash. Dot com. And we buy homes. Dot, okay, okay. We buy homes. Cash. Dot com. You want to go ahead got and it. send me an email right now just to make sure we got the right one? Yeah. Okay. I'll do that. Give me a second. Can we, let me get, I'll call, call right back. All right. Sounds good. All right. Moves are being made. Moves are being made, boys. We need we we this this will be an amazing deal. We get this right now. Boom, made twenty k today. We're good. I'll go. Fuck off. We'll go to the we'll go to the gym. We'll play some video games. We'll chill out the rest of the day. But we got to make that twenty g's first. Here's the key, everybody. You got to level up your character in real life before you level up your online characters. You know what I'm saying? You need to grind your stats. You need to grind your fucking strength in the gym. You need to grind your money. You got to get that money in and then you can go, you know, screw off, play some video games, do whatever you want, chill, watch movies. But the key is to make sure you level up IRL before leveling up online. See what I'm saying? That's one lesson. You know, I'm actually going to make a thing about this. I've learned a lot of lessons from playing video games. I really have. And I think that playing video games, especially things like old school RuneScape and World of Warcraft, have like taught me a lot about making money. There we go. He sent me the email. We got it. We're in. We're in. email received. I said, please send the pictures here and then we will be able to get you a smoking offer for your property. Are you cold calling nationwide? Um, no, these, well, some of them are in different. Yeah, we're, we're a little all over the place. Do you play Warzone? No, Warzone sucks. It used to be cool back in like the COVID days, but now Warzone sucks. Just Call of Duty has gone so downhill, honestly. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's the skill-based matchmaking or whatever the thing people complain about, but I haven't enjoyed a Call of Duty game um, in a long time since like Modern Warfare Remastered and MW2. All right, so you will get the funds the same day? No, I, I get them on the, the close of escrow date. So for instance, this guy, get a send me photos. I'm gonna see that they're good. I already have a buyer lined up, right? I'm gonna call the buyer with the photos. I'm gonna say, hey, Let's do, let's do 95 grand for this. Let's do 98K for this. And he's going to say, okay. And then I'm going to set him the assignment. And then on the close of escrow date, he'll deposit the 98K into the title company's account. The, you know, whatever I agree upon with uh, Jason, somewhere around 74, hopefully. He'll get that money. And then boom, I'll make the extra. Nice little 20K rip. All right. Okay, let's hold off on this guy. We got some other leads to call. We got some other leads to call. Who do we got to call? Francisco. Looks like this property is in El Paso. Let's go ahead and see what's up with Francisco and his property in El Paso. Hello. Hello, Francisco. 
Francisco? Good. Hey, Francisco, this is Tyson with We Buy Homes Cash. I believe you've been speaking with my assistant, Mary, about possibly selling this property in El Paso. Uh, yeah, I was in the process of selling it, or I am. Right now, my uh, it's under uh, my real estate agent in charge now. Hmm. Perfect. Yeah. So you got a listing agreement signed, and it's going to be going up on the market? Uh, this week, I think, yeah. Excellent. Well, I'll go ahead, right. I'll look out for the listing, and I'll make an offer through your agent. All righty. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Listed with an agent, nothing. We're going to go ahead. Um, property has been listed. We go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and throw it into my lead bucket, put it on a drip campaign, and not touch it again. Um, for another 60 days when I will look at the property and see if it's still listed if it is I'll call him up I'll ask him why it hasn't sold yet. We will talk shit about his realtor and then I will make an offer But until then Nothing else to do Put on this drip campaign by the way guys um, Ari simply the CRM I use right now is running a crazy deal where everybody who signs up using my code code Tyson um, is actually going to get uh, not only 50% off their first month, but also all of the drip campaigns that I use. So if you guys are looking for a CRM that is going to work for you, make your life a lot easier, go on to resimply.com and uh, yeah, get signed up. And use code Tyson so you get all my drip campaigns. All right, go ahead, throw them on a long-term drip. Perfect. Set auto follow-up. We love it. All right. Okay, who else do we have? We needed to talk to Kenneth. Who is Kenneth? Why do you all only target American properties? So not Dave, let me explain something to you. I don't know how real estate is transacted in other parts of the world. I don't believe that they have assignment contracts and inspection periods the same way that we do here in America. The reason why we can wholesale in America is because of the laws around how wholesaling or how properties are transacted. Now I'm gonna get way too technical here, but whatever. For those of you guys who care, about to learn you some knowledge. Ownership of a property comes with something called the bundle of rights, right? When you own real property, real estate, you get the bundle of rights associated with that property. One of those rights is something called equitable interest. And actually, when you put a property under contract, you get that piece, you get equitable interest. Now you don't have the full bundle of rights, but you do have equitable interest. And when you have what's called equitable interest in a property, you are allowed to market it. So that's why when we have a property under contract, we're allowed to market our interest in that contract to somebody else. Now we're not selling the house per se, we're selling the deal, we're selling the contract. And we're allowed to sell a contract via a vehicle called an assignment of contract. Now, most contracts in the United States, unless explicitly stated, are what's called assignable. Assignable meaning doesn't really matter whose name is on the contract, so long as the terms of the contract are fulfilled in exactly the way they're written. Now, an assignment contract can allow you to sell your interest in a contract to somebody else for more money than you originally agreed upon, so long as the new buyer fulfills all the terms of the contract. This is what allows us to flip houses that we don't own and never even had to pay for. It's all based around finding houses at a really good deal so that we have enough equity in the property where we can sell it to somebody else. They can still go make money and we make money too. Now, I'm not sure if all of that stuff exists in other countries because it would be very naive and foolish to pretend like in every other country, transactions in real estate are done the same way they're done here. What's up, Jimmy? All right. Do you see any laws banning wholesaling soon? I don't, it's gonna be impossible to fully ban wholesaling. You'd have to completely change the way that, that real estate's transacted. Um, no, I don't know anything about can, Canadian real estate or how it's transacted. T, I already use RE Simply. Let me get those drip campaigns. Zach, um, yeah, you should be able to get them. Um, send them a, a message, like go to the customer support and say, hey, I'm in Tyson's community. Can I get access to his drip campaigns? And they'll clear with me of like, hey, do you know him? And I'll be like, yeah. And then they'll give you the drip campaigns. All right. So I assume oftentimes the buyers of said contracts are flippers. Yes, Weston, absolutely. Flippers, landlords, real estate investors, you know. Uh, Joe, the best way to reach me is by messaging me on, on Instagram. Wholesaling is a really good high income skill. Yeah, absolutely, guys. Look, here's the thing. 
When it comes to making money, there's kind of different phases. Phase number one, you're more than likely in what we like to call the survival mode. Like you make just enough money for you to live, right? You're essentially a slave because all you can pay for is food and shelter. You don't have money for anything else, any extras for the most part, right? Now, the first step to getting out of the survival stage is to learn a high income skill. Now, there, many of these exist, right? Wholesaling is just one of them, but you could also learn how to drop ship or learn how to run ads for people or learn how to grow Instagram accounts or learn how to landscape somebody's yard. Whatever these are, these are just high value skills. They're things that other people are willing to pay you to do. Now, I personally like wholesaling because I believe it's got the best asymmetrical risk and the biggest profit, like the risk to reward ratio out of any of them. But once you learn a high income skill, then you start to make a lot of money. This gets you out of survival and into more of um, you're chilling, right? Not only are you able to pay for the basics, food and shelter, but you can also now start to buy you know, other fun stuff. This is somewhere in the realm of you're making you know, 10 to, to 20, 30 grand a month. But then after that, you have to level up and you need to get new skills. These new skills are going to be hiring and delegating. Right? This is where you start to be able to have other people replace you in your business. So instead of you having to do all the wholesaling, you have employees who take care of this for you. Or instead of you having to do all the landscaping, you have employees who do that for you. Or instead of you running the ads for somebody, you have employees who do that for you, right? Using whatever system you've made that works. Once you get there, that's what you know gets you really into the thriving. Where not only do you have money for the extras and food and shelter and all of that stuff, but you have luxuries and you can invest and everything like that as well. But in order to get to that level, you first have to start with square one, which is learning the high value skill. Now, if you don't know any high value skills and you want to learn, hit the link in my bio, sign up for the free class I'm doing this Thursday, where I will show you how to learn the high value skill that is wholesaling real estate teach you how to find off market real estate deals for other investors who will happily pay you 10, 20, 30, $40,000 splits on these deals just for you finding them and dealing with them um, because these people are very rich investors and they don't have time for all that. How do you find people who want to sell? Why? Check this out. Check this out, dude. You're going to go to my TikTok profile right now. Okay. It's gonna look a little something like this. So you're gonna go on TikTok, you go to my profile. <sighs> Boom, there you go. You're gonna click this link and it's gonna bring you to this website where you're gonna click free wholesaling real estate class. And it's gonna bring you here where you can sign up and I'm gonna show you exactly my wholesale system. Show you exactly how I find sellers, how I find buyers, what I say, everything you need to know to go get your first deal, okay? Now look. Also go down and go read about all the other people who've been to the class and all the crazy results they've had. All right, there are countless of them. It's amazing, I fucking love it. Anyway, go there, get signed up for the class. I will show you how to get started doing this. Everything you need to know, okay? Oh, and the best part is it's free. Doesn't cost you any money. Also, somebody the other day said that I skip legs. I'm also gonna hit legs today. This is literally no pump, we're just, just I need to work, I'm gonna really go hamstrings. My hamstrings are lacking. I was watching a Sam Sulik video uh, last night. That guy's got some hammies. I think I'm gonna have to split up my days. Do one quad day, one hamstring day. Anyway. What's up, Steve? Where do you, I get the contracts from? I'll give you my exact contracts for free. Just DM me on Instagram, the word contracts. Must be following. Do you tell the seller you are the buyer? I tell the, the seller I'm an investor. If we JV with you and you got the buyer under contract, let's say great deal, is our half 100% done? Oh uh, yes, Weston. You just need to get the property under contract and get photos. Where do you like to find buyers? Sign up for the free class and I will show you every single strategy I use to find buyers. Your contracts work for land as well, yes. How do you get over the fear of cold calling? This is one of the most common questions I get. And I'm gonna answer it the same way I answer every single other time. You have to realize what are you more afraid of? Cold calling or what your life will look like if you never are brave enough to call somebody on the phone and you keep living your life the exact same way you have. What's the worst thing that's gonna happen on a cold call? Somebody yells at you, they call you a mean name over the phone, not even face to face. They can't reach to the phone and punch you. Like what's the worst thing that's gonna happen? Nothing. What's the best thing that can happen? Oh, you make $20,000. That's called an asymmetrical bet. 
where the risk is super low and the reward is super high, okay? Life pro tip, you always make asymmetrical bets. Yes, I do tons of creative finance and subject too. What if they make fun of my mom though? Who cares, dude? They don't even know your mom, right? Who, like, who cares? They're NPCs. Like, dude, I, these are NPCs, right? These guys are just like tavern vendors there to sell me their wares, okay? That's it. That's all it is, right? Whatever they say, if they say anything mean, dude, they're, pre, they're bots. Why do I care? It's a bot. It's a TSA agent somewhere. What? Why does their opinion of me matter at all? It doesn't. I just want to buy their house, okay? All right. Uh, Geolin, yeah, you'll see that a lot. Um, I mean, I see tons of people come in like, oh, me and my buddy are going to do this. And then, you know, people start to give up. It happens. Look, not everybody's cut out for the grind. I go directly to the seller. I do not work with any agents. Do you fill the purchase agreement before or after sending it to the seller and them signing it? Salvador, is that a serious question? Send somebody a blank contract for them to sign? No, you would fill it out before, brother. Come on. Hey, you just here, just sign here. Don't worry, I'll put in the price later. It'll be fine. No, you fill the entire thing out, dude. Best places to find buyers. Guys, hit the link in my bio. Sign up for the free class I'm doing on Thursday. I will show you my four strategies for finding buyers. Same exact ones I use every single day of my business. For JV deals, is 50-50 the norm? Yes. I speed a lead, good to find buyers. No. What's a realistic time frame for a first deal? People who are hustling will easily get their first deal in their first month. Not scared of calling, but sounding inexperienced with real estate wording slash processes for sure. So that's a reasonable thing to, to, to be concerned about. Here's what I'm going to tell you. You know what the best way for you to start to realize that like, all right, number one, look, come to my free class because in that I'll teach you every. I hate whenever I get phone calls on and I'm live on TikTok, it immediately lags it out. So I've got to wait. I need to answer this question because he makes up a good point. So this man says, hey, I, it's something that I'm worried about people yelling at me. I'm worried about me just not knowing enough. Here's what I'm going to say. Every journey of a thousand miles starts with the beginning, the, the first step, right? A master at anything once started as a beginner. And the best way for you to learn and get experience in real estate, I'm telling you, is cold calling. Start talking to people about selling their house or buying their house, okay? You will learn so much more than reading any book or watching any YouTube video or even coming to one of my free classes will teach you. Real life experience like that is way better than anything else, okay? Again, even if you sound inexperienced, what's the worst that's gonna happen? Somebody hangs up on you? Who cares? There's a million more people to call. Hit the next one. How much do you shoot for with your JV deals from the link in your bio? I won't JV a deal unless I'm going to make at least five grand. Otherwise, it's just not worth my time. Okay. I'm um, thinking of buying Tim, dude with the big beard. I don't know who that is. Is it okay to be honest with the seller about this being your first deal? Yeah, if you want. I don't care. Look, I'm a fake until you make it kind of guy, bro. I've never been anywhere in... I just act like I know what I'm doing and guess what? Perception is reality, okay? Now you can go in there and be timid, whatever, be like, hey, it's my first deal, I don't wanna mess up. That might work for you, but me personally, life has served me pretty well just kinda acting like I know what's up and figuring it out on the back end. That's real, you can't teach that. Why aren't you humble? Don't have to be. Are you humble? If so, how's that doing for you? Working out? If so, keep it up, man. Did you buy any courses when you first got started wholesaling? Absolutely, dude. So I graduated college in 2020, right there in the middle of the COVID thing. I got a COVID stimmy check for two grand, spent it all on a wholesaling course. All that course got me, by the way, were contracts, a, a formula for calculating a deal, and a script. And I give away all of that stuff for free, by the way. You don't have to even pay 2K, right? Listen, if you guys had no money to get started, all you would have to do is hit the link in my bio, sign up for the free class I'm doing on Thursday, 
sign up for that then go to my Instagram DM me the word contract and the word calculator and I would send you everything you need you would now have an entire wholesale starter pack of everything you need plus you could go to my free class to show you exactly how to use that starter pack to actually go get your first deal and boom you're off to the races Shout out from One Roof in Scottsdale. Oh, you over with uh, Zayback? My guy, dude. Zayback is the man. All right. What you prefer, working with real estate company or working for myself? Seriously? Yeah, dude. Austin Zayback is a G. He's one of the biggest wholesalers in like the country. And he's just a G. I mean, I interviewed him on uh, my podcast. And I've talked to him several times. He's such a good dude. So helpful. So open to talking about his experiences. And Austin Zabak, that's an amazing guy. If you guys don't follow Austin Zabak, you guys should look him up. He's another wholesaler. He lives out here in Arizona. He crushes it. And he's a great dude. All right. Where can we find podcasts? Just search Tyson Smith, Austin Zayback on YouTube. All right. What's the best lead source to get my first deal? Cold calling. And I'll show you exactly how to do it on the free class. Hit the link in my bio, get signed up. All right. Why are my messages not coming through on my laptop? This is so annoying. All right. You on Spotify podcast? Yes. Um, I also have tons of podcast episodes, me on Spotify, tons of interviews with me and my different mentors, me and other real estate professionals, you name it. There's good stuff on there. Search the rebellion Tyson Smith on Spotify. I, I, uh, I shut down the podcast a while ago though, because I had a full time video guy who ran the whole thing, but then he quit to start his own business, which I'm happy for him. He's crushing it. Good for him. But Ever since then, I don't know all the technical stuff to run the podcast, so I, I had to stop doing it. I will be back, though. I miss podcasting. I actually loved it so much. 33 with the trucking business, but the money ain't worth it, bro. I'm stressing. Time running out. Time's not running out, bro. You got this. What do you mean? Let's make some moves. What's the name of the podcast? The Rebellion. happening on my Mac right now but my messages are like not coming through and that is insanely annoying all right all right what's the best VA cold calling service I don't know honestly your own is probably the best how do you estimate ARV if you can't find any properties to compare it to if there are no properties to compare it to it's a bad deal and I'm not even gonna make an offer on it that's the truth that is the truth. All right. What do you think about door knocking? Door knocking is, uh, I think, a great way to get your first deal if you live by an area where, like, um, there's a lot of market activity. Like, if you live, like, in any city where there's a professional sports team nearby, then you'd be good to door knock if you, like, don't have any money for cold calling. Um, but door knocking is also like a lot scarier for people than uh, just um, like cold calling is. <clears throat> All right, what is this? Okay. How many hours you work a day typically? Mm, like four or five a day, maybe. Um, only time you don't see adequate comps is typically with newer construction. No, it's typically in like lower population areas. Instagram at Tyson underscore Smith. How do you estimate repair costs for different states slash different income areas? So, 
Okay. Rocky, here's what I'm going to tell you. Estimating repairs is not as hard as everybody thinks. Because here's the deal. You're not actually buying the house and you're not actually flipping it. So when in doubt, you just overestimate. Um, I have different formulas for estimating it. I cover all of that information on the free class. Okay, on the free class, I'm going to show you how I analyze a deal, how I estimate the repairs, the ARD, everything like that, so I know how much to offer. Okay. What time do you start cold calling? Um, you don't want to start like too early. I would start at like 9 a.m., whatever the local time is. So for instance, if you live on like the, the East Coast, like you live in Florida, you'd be able to cold call, you'd be able to like, uh, or I'm sorry, if you live on the West Coast, so let's say that you live in California and we're, you're three hours behind uh, Florida, you'd be able to cold call houses in Florida starting at like 6 a.m. Um, but you don't really wanna call before 9 a.m. local time or after 8 p.m. local time. All right, uh, Tyson, I'm looking for some good leads, some good deals. Hey, aren't we all, brother? All right, I'm in solar, door-to-door, -door, just starting out wholesaling, but I run into a lot of folks getting ready to sell. Dude, I mean, a deadly solar guy who recognizes when people are like, oh, I actually want to sell the house. Dude, if you start wholesaling on the side, you'd absolutely rake. What market are you in? Um, I closed deals in 20 different states last year. Thoughts on Eric McAvoy? Great guy. Great guy. My guy Tyson. What's up, boss man? How you doing, man? Okay. All tenant friendly states? Um, no, I've done them. I've done tons of deals in like New York and California. You go to WealthCon in Vegas? I am not. Or I should say I don't have plans to right now. However, I am a fan of Ryan Pineda. He's a very smart cat. Dude, what is going on, bro? Macs are actual such pieces of garbage, dude. I love the iPhone, but dude, every single Mac I've had just sucks. All right. Where in New York? Upstate New York. I've never wholesaled in the city. Uh, though I do know people who do. I do know people who do. Uh, bro, look at the sleep deprived. Bro, what do you mean, dog? I, got, I get my nine hours in. We are chilling. We are chilling. How much for mentorship? Hit the link in my bio, sign up for the free class, okay? If you guys are interested in a one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I will hold your hand through getting your first contract and even hold your hand through selling the deal, not JV, I'll literally just help you sell your own deal. Look, it's gonna cost you a substantial amount of money because your, my average deal size is like 20 grand. However, I will hold your hand and I will help you get your first deal in the first 90 days guaranteed. You'll hit the button. Um, if you hit the link in my bio, hit the one that says apply for one-on-one -on -one mentorship and you can uh, apply for that there. But that is gonna cost you money. If you just wanted to learn for free, you wanna know exactly how to get going and then you're ready to go, hit the link, sign up for the free class and do it on Thursday. Costs absolutely no, no money. What's a substantial size of money? It is a four figure investment for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship I was speaking about earlier. I mean, for some people, if you feel like you want help, you want direct access to me, and you want me to build you a custom plan, and you have the money to invest, it's a phenomenal option. Best investment I know of. Um, but if you don't, you know, I still want to be able to help you out. That's why I have the free class. All right. My laptop is restarted. Got a bunch of updates that are being installed in Zoom and shit. Anything changing for you with the new wholesale laws? No. Tyson, I was in your last class a couple weeks ago. I thought you weren't having another for a while. Uh, I haven't. Um, I am doing one this week, though. 
but I haven't done one in, in quite some time. Tanner, uh, the problem is, is that I buy my creative deals. Um, I really only sell the bad ones. It's not bad, but I, I take all the best ones. How to give VA to cold call to different states. What do you mean? You just give him phone numbers for properties in a different state. It's not rocket science. All right, so now my Mac is literally sounding like a jet engine, so that's great. Uh, please just want that to come on so I can access my messages, so I can see if uh, this guy. I really want this deal, dude. I didn't know you buy and hold. That's the name of the game, bro. You only want to wholesale until you don't have to. And now I'm at a nice point in my life where I'm able to invest money. Okay. All right. Do all of your buyers walk properties? Yes, most of them do. How long did it take you to get your first deal once you started really trying to? It took me two months. It would have taken me way faster if I had the resources that you guys all have now. Like I got into this, there was no Tyson giving a free class, showing me step-by-step step exactly what to do. I'm just kind of guessing, right? Your website down, what website's down? How does it work if you're doing a deal in an attorney state? Don't worry about it, it's all the same. Just send the contract to the title company, the title company will tell you what to do. How do you go about getting your buyers in the property without deals being stolen or any of that? The contract and a memorandum. I've been looking to reinvest my TikTok money. Start buying some real estate, brother. Okay, so my messages already again are like fucking being weird. So that's great. Max continue to disappoint day in and day out. I hate that, but uh, what can you do? What can you do? Um, we probably should just, wait, we need to get a charger. We're just gonna plug in the iPad. I do want to access my messages. All right, we'll be right back, YouTube. Don't worry. yourself it cost me over six thousand dollars however I give it away for free so all you have to do is message me the word contract on Instagram and I will send it to you including my assignment contract including my exact sales script absolutely 100% free so go ahead send me a DM on Instagram must be following and I'll send you that, that agreement hey Tyson it's Anthony from Wolfson 101 what's up what's up Anthony how you doing brother you said memorandum, how does that work? Or is that in the contract? Um, memorandum is not in the contract to give away for free, but a memorandum is a document you can file with the county recorder's office that puts a lead or at least it clouds title so nobody else can close on that contract without at least you removing the lead. That's a more advanced thing. But anyway, nice way to make sure your deals don't get stolen. However, that's not really a big concern for me. It doesn't really happen unless you're just a moron. All right. How can I find motivated sellers for free? Mark G Boutique. Hit the link in my bio. Sign up for the free class I'm doing on Thursday. I will show you how to find leads for free. Okay. What's up, Riley? How you doing, man? All right. Do, 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 do. All right, big homie uh, Jason has uh, th th 20 minutes to send me these photos of this property. Hmm, what is this? Four beds, two baths, 2,000 square feet. Oh, 85051. Yeah. 
Okay. <clears throat> All right, how do you find a seller after you buy a house? What are you talking about, dude? How do you find a seller after you buy a house? The seller is the person who would be selling you the house, no? All right, let's call, uh, what's this person's name? Carlos. Yes, El Paso, Texas is a good city for wholesale. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. All right, send a text. Hey, Carlos, still interested in selling address and we redial. Phone number attached to my CRM. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic. It's a VOIP system. All right. Move on. Call next contact. We have who? Ernest. Dutchman Drive in Maricopa. Mike, sign up for the free class I'm doing on Thursday. I will show you how to find buyers in any state, in any market, very quickly. It's the easiest part of the whole process. Once you found a good real estate deal, that is. Your call has been for. What's up, Sammy? Any extra tips for today? Here's my extra tip for you today. Date the one you're with. And what I mean by that is when you do get somebody on the phone, do not be in such a rush to get them off the phone. Take the time to fully understand their situation. Why did they even spend any amount of time having a conversation with you about possibly selling you? What would selling this allow them to do? What kind of pain would that allow them to escape or pleasure would that allow them to gain? Okay. What are the roadblocks associated with them having to sell this house? What things can get in the way? What people, money, barriers, anything, what could possibly ruin this deal? Be very curious about why somebody is deciding to have this conversation. And the more curious you are, the better you will do. All right. What Skip Trace app you suggest me, please? Batch leads. Would you suggest finding cash investors first so when you find a seller, it's guaranteed? Dan, I kind of have gone back and forth on this. Um, here's the thing that I want to say is that finding cash buyers when you have a good deal is easy. And if you use my process for underwriting, any deal you get is going to be a good deal. Um, however, if you're an absolute beginner and you have no idea how to value a real estate deal, um, finding a buyer first can be good because then you can just have somebody who will tell you exactly what they'll pay for it. And then you just know to get underneath that. The key here is being able to find a good buyer and actually build a relationship with them where they're not going to take your deal or anything. Your call has been forwarded to an automated. Do wholesalers have to make less than cash buyers? No. Very often have I made way more than the cash buyer does on a deal, even though they have to do way more work. Well, way more work. It just depends. My, with my skill set, sales, I'm really good at talking to people, making them feel comfortable getting contracts signed. I'm better at that. So wholesaling is more, you know, naturally in tune with what I'm naturally good at. But if you're better at, you know, running projects and constructions and operations management, then you might be better at flipping. 
you know, just depends. But sometimes the cash buyers make more. Sometimes I make more, you know, there is no set amount. No set amount. Okay. Um, Edwin, there is no best list. I pull all the lists I talk about. I get an equal amount of deals from all of them. There's no one best list. All right. No pictures from Jason, not yet. All right, do you use an automatic dialer system? Yes, I use an automatic dialer system. However, in the beginning, I hand dialed because I didn't have one. I didn't even know that was a thing. And then I learned of it and I was like, oh, whoa, this is amazing. And I was able to make way more calls. That's when I got batch dialer. Do you ever get burnt out cold calling? Um, in the beginning I did. I mean, all the time, right? Again, that's just being disciplined, is knowing that even though I don't want to be doing this, I need to do it anyway, because the things I actually want in life that money can buy me, I need to continue to do this if I wanna get those things. And the pain of not having those things and being broke, the pain of being broke is way more than the pain of having a cold call. How did you quit the vape? Quitting the vape, one of the easier things I've ever had to do. I quit the vape very simply by chewing gum. If you are currently a vapor and you don't wanna do that anymore, cause you shouldn't, cause that shit is lame. Um, all you need to do, there's, there's, there's two different ways you can go about it, okay? If you fully wanna get rid of nicotine entirely, just start chewing gum. You need to get packs of gum, preferably flavored gum, all over the place. You need to have them in your car, you need to have them next to your bed, you need to have them at work, all over the place. And anytime you feel the urge to hit the vape, put a piece of gum in your mouth. It doesn't matter if you put a piece of your gum in your mouth and then like five minutes later, you feel the urge to, to hit the vape again, spit out the gum, put a new piece of gum in your mouth. Do this every single time. You may go through five packs of gum in a day, for real. But I'm telling you, after like two weeks of this, you'll be fine. It, the, the urges will go away, you'll be all right, okay? Now, the uh, way, the easier way, if you are a vapor and you'd like to not be a vapor anymore, is just to go buy a pack of Zins. And every single time you wanna hit the vape, put a Zin in your mouth. You'll be all right, okay? Quitting vape, super easy. Now, dude, I, like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I haven't vaped in two years, probably. The idea, just the thought of hitting a vape gives me like anxiety. Like I don't even want those Russian, Chinese chemicals all up in my brain. All right, new to list source. If I wanted to see what area code is hotter for flippers, what would be the keywords for list source? Um, I don't know. I've never been um, really big into that. Um, that's more my partner's realm of expertise. I don't use list source. Javier, I'm, I'm with you, man. I mean, cold calling isn't that bad. It's not like we're, dude, we're not working on the oil field. Like we're sitting in an air conditioned place calling people. You know, it ain't, it ain't bad. Like there's way worse things you could have been, you could be doing for real. What are the roles slash duties for each of your employees in your business? Make money. First and foremost, make money. And then they all have different little pieces that they serve in that. But the end goal, make money. Give me a positive return on investment. If I pay you $1, you better generate five. 
Okay. Do you have a title company in the Indianapolis area? Um, I'm sure I do, but you could find one in two seconds by Googling title company in Indianapolis, calling them, asking them if they work with wholesalers. You'll find one very quickly. How many employees do you have? Six. Six full time. Fuck it. We're just going to call homie and we're just going to get his shit locked up. That's what's going down. I'm just going to say, hey, look, we don't even need pictures. We'll do our own inspection. We'll get our own photos. Right. We won't even bother you with all of that. I got some great news. Um, real quick, let me go to DocuSign and get this set up. Okay. Best times for cold calling. There is no best time. Any time is good. All right. Um, I need to go to batch leads real quick so I can get this guy's APN. All right. Did you drop your own contracts or have a CPA slash lawyer do it? I had a lawyer do it. A CPA would not be drawing up contracts. No, that, that would be the lawyer. All right. Let's make sure. Is he the only one on title? Yes, he is. Love to see that. All right. We got his email here. Let's go. Okay, should I focus on cold calling in morning or afternoon or just whatever I'll be more consistent with? Both, dude. Come on. If you want to make some money, make some cold calls every single time you can. Can you show the DocuSign setup by chance? I have videos on it. I'm not going to show you right now because I'm putting sensitive information like the address and stuff on here. And I'm not going to do that while I don't have the deal under contract because some of you guys are some sneaks, okay? Most of you guys aren't. But there's some sneaky people in here who would relish in the opportunity to mess this deal up for me. And we're talking about like 20 G's right now. So, um, yeah, not going to show you guys that. All right. Earnest money. You guys know the drill already. $100. That's what I'm talking about. Um, we'll just do a month for now. We'll just put a month at close of escrow. Um, uh, inspection period, obvi, just 15 days. Perfect. All right. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to go pee real quick. We're going to come back. We're going to call him and we're going to try to get this contract signed. Okay. Um, but while I go away, now would be a perfect time for you to hit the link in my bio and get signed up for the free training or apply for the one-on-one -on -one mentorship. If you would like to get your first deal closed in the next 90 days, guaranteed. Um, anyway, I got to pee. Oh, also DM me on Instagram the word contract if you want my contracts for free.
You guys ready to make some moves? Hey Tyson, just tuned in. When you're using batch leads or Zillow to find a stressed property, it's one of the most important things to look for. All right, so you already, you have your, your mind is in the wrong place here. You're worried about the property when the property is a secondary concern. The primary concern is the owner of the property and what their motivation is for selling it. Everything else with the property is just icing on the cake. It's just gravy, okay? We're not concerned about properties. We're concerned about owners who are motivated to sell. All right, so you go to any title company of your contracts and tell them you're wholesaling. Not any title company. You need to tell them you're wholesaling and make sure they work with wholesalers because some people don't. Okay, let's get this deal locked up. Please leave your message for five two zero. Oh, uh, Serena, yes. Brandon, yes. Please leave your message for five. God dang it. All right. We're just gonna email him back real quick. And I'm gonna say, hey Jason, I have some really great news. Give me a call back at, and then what's my number on here? Okay, is Facebook a good way to find leads? Yes, it can be. Okay. Um, how many VA you hired? I have hired and fired tons of VAs, man. Um, at my peak, I had like 20 to 25 VAs at any given time, cold calling. Do you mind answering where you skip trace your leads at? Absolutely. Um, I do not mind doing that. All of my skip tracing is done with batch leads. They are by far and away the best skip tracing service I've ever used. PNS contract, other name? I don't get your question, Quinn. What do you mean? Yeah, of course, Troy. All right, should I hire VAs when I'm starting? No. No, you should start by doing the work yourself first. How are you gonna manage somebody to do something you don't know how to do? What's up, Hassan? What do you mean you'll be visiting AZ? Do you not live in AZ anymore? I sell solar, should I leave to wholesale? I'm leaning towards it. I'm not gonna make that decision for you, man. Oh, just ask for the name of the two contracts needed. It's a purchase and sale agreement and, a, and an assignment of contract. You can get both for free by DMing me the word contract on Instagram. Move back to Michigan, right on. Well, you're coming back to AZ, let's go. Okay. Recommendation for leading. I feel like I don't know what I'm talking about on the phone a lot. Brandon, are you using, I literally give away the exact script I use when I'm on the phone with every single question I ask. It takes away the guesswork out of all of that. 
If you don't have that, DM me the word contract, you'll get my contracts and that script. It's the exact script I use. It's literally word for word what I say every single time. Yes, Chucky, I know. Um, there's nothing I can do about it. I report all of them and TikTok does not care. I, I know there, there's a epidemic of fake Tyson Smith REIs out there. They are not me. I will never DM you first on TikTok ever. What times you cold call? Anytime after 9 a.m. and before 8 p.m. What market are you in? All of them. Do you have to buy a house yourself? No, I never buy the house myself. I always sell it to somebody else. Well, I shouldn't say always. I mean, I'm now at a point where I do buy the houses myself, but. What's up, Tyson? This is Carlos. What's up, dude? Got off work earlier. On my way home to get on the dialer. Right on, bro. Let's make some bread, dude. Should I virtual wholesaling or local wholesale? Either or, dude. You got ADHD? I don't believe in that. Do you use batch leads over prop stream? Yes. Do you have any experience in Missouri, specifically Kansas City area? Yes. I've done deals in Kansas City, St. Louis. What's your current team size? It's all virtual, a couple sales people, dispo, some operations people. We run lean over here, baby. We like that profit margin. All right. I'm 18 and got no bread. What should I do? Hit the link in my bio, sign up for the free class and do it on Thursday. I will show you how to get your bread up for free. All right, kind of personal, but what did you take home last month? Over six figures. What was last month? February? Yeah, we made some money last month. Actually, I lied, not over six figures, but very close to it. Somewhere in the $90,000 range. Looking like a sophisticated gentleman. Thank you. I appreciate that, brother. Do you sell, have an office? Um, no, I do have office space, but I never go there. I actually have come to really enjoy working from home. I'm able to cook all my gains. Um, it's nice never having to be at a specific place at a certain time. I hate ever having to... Like, dude, I guess I hate scheduled meetings. Like when I have to be here at like this time and everything. Oh, dude, it's the worst. I'm telling you, Brandon, my net profit was in the $90,000 last month. That is net profit after expenses. Okay, we ate. Um, my net profit in um, January though was like 180 grand, something like that. We fucking ate in January. Is there specific times you need to know when the seller is talking about the renovation in the past? Dude, again, just ask the questions that are on my script. I give away the script that shows you all the questions you need to ask. In Kansas City, what's the average price per deal? I have no idea. And it definitely varies a lot by zip code, not just city. All right, do you borrow the money to buy or bankroll with your own money? So Chris, with wholesaling, you sell the contract before you ever have to buy the house. So I'm playing with monopoly money. I offer somebody a million dollars for their house, I sell it to somebody else for a million dollars, 5,000, that person deposits the million, 5,000 dollars, I just keep the five extra thousand, right? It's monopoly money, okay? Why are you willing to help people for free? I make a lot of money doing what I do um, like this because I've taught so many people how to do this. I have so many people that bring me deals, right? That I don't have to like pay for marketing anymore or anything like that. I just have deals come to me. So because I've taught so many people, I have a community of people who then bring deals to me and want to help out and things like that. Um, so doing this, like me, just like, you know, hanging out with you guys, teaching you guys what I know on TikTok live, it's not going to make me any money today. But somebody in here is gonna take what I have to say, they're gonna to come to my free class, they're gonna learn the information, they're actually gonna put it into practice, and they're gonna go make a lot of money. And eventually, some way or another, that might come back to me, okay? It's a pretty cool little system I've set up for myself. 
What are the cons on virtual wholesale? Like, do sellers trust you? Yes. Yes, Brandon, we did. Dude, I have a meeting coming up and I'm gonna have to get off and I'm gonna be really mad if I don't get to talk to uh, Jason. What if you don't sell before you close on the house? Then I would cancel the contract. At what price is a deal not worth it? Anything under 5K? Me personally, I won't do a deal unless I know I'm gonna make at least five grand. Uh, Travis, I have monthly reoccurring revenue. I wholesale because it's the best way I know to make a lot of money quickly. I don't know of any other way that somebody with no experience or anything like that can make more money as fast as you can with wholesaling. Do you have a system in place? I have many systems in place. What do you tell a client if you need to cancel? I tell them that the property did not meet the final underwriting guidelines. Can you explain? Explain what? You asked a very broad question. I'm not even sure what you're getting at. Um, You guys doing a destination wedding? Um, I think so. I don't know for sure though. Wholesale system. Yes. All right. Screw it. We're just going to call him again before I have to hop off for this other meeting with my nutritionist. For the people. Yes. Please leave your. Oh. All right, boys. Well, when he does call me back, I'll keep you guys updated on the contract. Um, if he calls me back and I can, I'll try and hop on live so you guys can see it. Either way, I'll try and record it um, some way or another. But um, I got to get ready for this other call. Appreciate all of you guys for watching. If you guys haven't already, get signed up for the free class. If you're interested in a one-on-one -on -one mentorship where I will hold your hand through getting your first contract and even um, helping you find a buyer for it and even um, just the entire way with the title company until the transaction is closed, hit the link, hit the button that says apply for a one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, if you have any questions about it, just DM me one-on-one -on, -one on Instagram and we can 